Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? I don't know what the heck happened here. Something big pulled in here, like really big and really heavy. Look at the freaking mess of rubber on my driveway here. It looked like some kind of dually. You can see dually marks here. Holy crap, I wonder if it was the snowplow truck guy or something, but it's weird because the duallys kind of go here and then they kind of go over there. And then there's these other big ones. And like, what is this here? This looked like something was dragging. I don't know, but holy cow, that's a, that's a lot of rubber they've spread on my driveway here. Must have been something heavy. So there's, I don't know if he came this way and then backed up. I don't know. I'm not a tire mark expert kind of guy, you know, so. But uh, definitely looks like front steering tires here. And turn, turn, turn. Looks like they came in this way. And then backed up maybe that way but I don't know what these other marks are holy cow down there, there's like another big set of them like something was dragging holy easy on my driveway and someone left sawdust all over no that was me <laughs> I did that my bad so uh, smells like Kieran paint in here that's pretty sweet So yesterday, we went shopping. I got some more of them sweet mouse traps. Sweet. And I got some, a little kit of some brushes. And I got two cans of black paint. Two cans of new fresh black paint. So that's pretty good. Um, what I think I'm going to do, and I'm not sure, sure if I've got any left is from back from the back here to probably in about where the plywood starts I'm gonna paint that with some black the black paint and then throw some some sandblast sand on it or something equivalent to that and uh, I'm not sure if I've got any left I might have to Go grab a bag of it, which is not bad. It's just out of TSC. I'm sure they'll have that. <laughs> but I think that's what I'm going to do for back here. Um, that way it'll give it a little bit of grip when it's trying to climb up. And up she goes. Once you start on that stuff, it should be fine. I thought I had some sand left. I'm going to look around before I go out there for that. But uh, I'm not sure now if I had any left from when we did the ramps. That's what I did for the ramps, and it seemed to work pretty good, so... Sandblast sand. Well, I've got... i got a bucket of glass. Sand glass. I don't think I better use that. i got a bag of... absorbent kitty litter -y kind of stuff. I don't think that'll work. When I cleaned up the shop here a little bit, I don't remember seeing the bag of sand, so I kind of think I am out. So I'll have to make a run. Again, the TSC. So, <laughs> I uh, probably should take all this wood off of here again and then paint it and then put it back on, but I, I think I'm just going to try to be careful painting and uh, just, just kind of paint her as it sits here. And go. It's going to be a lot more finicky kind of work, but I really don't want to take those off again <laughs> and then put them back on. Um, I'm sure I could just fine, but everything's on now, so I should have probably done that uh, before we did that, screwed them together like that, but uh, the only thing it's not going to get paint down in behind the, maybe the sides I'll take off. Maybe the sides I'll take off. I really don't want to though. <laughs> it's a lot of extra work, but it's a lot of extra work painting around them too, so. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that. So I'll get the little screw gun out and the little bit and stuff and then just zip those off again here Unfortunately, I guess I'm gonna have to do that
All right, there's our panels done. I had to leave a little sticker on the top just to say which one was which and which was the top because I'll end up putting them back on. Yeah, not working. So uh, I did that. So I'll just have to touch those up after. I painstakingly went around and did all the way around the outside on my hands and knees. It sucked, but it's all done on the outside now. So that sh should be all right. And I didn't slop too, too much. I got a little bit here and there, but we can just kind of do something like that. Just blend it in, just blend it in. And uh, I didn't find any sand. Just keep blending it, just keep blending it. Um, I didn't find any sand, so I'm gonna have to run out and grab a bag. I don't need very much, I, you know, half a bag would probably be lots, but uh, that's the way she is. So we, uh, yeah, we'll just let this kind of dry up a little bit. I'll maybe get a little bit of a fan or something to blow on this a little bit because it's not really drying too much yet. It might take overnight, I don't know. Might have to uh, do the other sides tomorrow. Uh, it's either that or flip them over and just do them because this is going to be uh, the fronts, the backs. You know, I, I don't know, I'll have to figure something out. Because it'd be nice to get them all done in the one day and then I could just put them all back on tomorrow and do our test, our load test. But uh, today is paint job. Well, that's drying a little better now with the fan on. It's still tacky, but it's not wet, you know, so it's definitely helping. So we got a 50-pound uh, bag of white lightning sandblast sand here for the deck. And uh, I think I'm just going to go probably just to in front of the wheels. That should be lots. I don't, I don't think I need to go any, any further than that. Even just past this row of screws, probably be lost by the time. I don't even probably need that much. I probably only need this much. Nope. Pardon me. But might as well do it. I got 50 pounds. I got a fair bit of paint. I might as well start slabbing her together and uh, make her nice and grippy on the back anyway. Should be awesome. So let's get some more paint going. And I uh, don't really know that I want to just I maybe just roll that. I don't know how it would, the roller would go with the uh, the brush, but or the paint. I might have to use a bit of a brush too, and then smear some on, put some sand on, smear the paint around on it. Should be awesome.
right, walking pretty good. That was kind of, I was a little worried there for a few minutes. Uh, I think I had put too much sand on it and then uh, it just didn't want to uh, mix right, but pour a bit more paint to her and uh, she come out pretty good. See, I got some dribbles. That's not good. Well, I can potentially touch that up with a bit more orange after. But uh, yeah, so, but that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty thick. It's gonna take a heck of a long time to dry. And uh, up here, I didn't, uh, there's a bit of sand mixed into it, but not nearly as heavy. You can see the difference, right? So this will still give me grippies here, but I really don't need grip here. This is where I'm gonna be shoveling, right? And then back into the hole. With a, well, you know, I'll be standing up here, shoveling, say, where the wheel of the generator is, back into the hole kind of thing, so. Should work pretty good. Um, pretty much all the dirt will go back in, so there'll only be a little pile left. Shovel that off the way we go. Oh, I got uh, black stuff all over the place, I see. <laughs> oh, no. She was splattering pretty good, I guess, but uh, oh well. We can, it really bothers me, I can take those off and clean it again, but I'm not too concerned about it, so. But uh, yeah, this is gonna take a little while to, to dry, I think. I don't think we'll be trying this today or tomorrow or maybe even this week. I'll just leave her right till maybe Monday now. Let this fan... Yeah, it's blowing on it here pretty good. I'll maybe turn it up a notch. Get some more, more air to her. This stuff shouldn't be too bad to dry, but down here, yeah, that's going to take a good three or four days anyways. Uh, we've got these painted too on the other sides. They're tacking up. And... Uh, uh, this will dry up probably by tomorrow. I can put the sides back on and this will need in there probably a while <laughs> to dry so uh, Yeah, looking pretty good Got an awful lot splattered in this wheel here Oh well, like I say the dead guy won't care <laughs> Digging a hole for the dead guy. He won't care what the trailer looks like so but I think it looks pretty good once we get the sides back on and stuff, it should uh, dress her up pretty nice. Sweet, I gotta get out of here. There's way too many paint tunes. Holy. Well, I just checked my mailbox and I got a letter, a big letter, and uh, some pictures. Pretty sweet. Some pictures we'll look at after here. So I got a letter here too. And uh, this is from Charlie Stagg. He doesn't actually live <clears throat> too far from me. Uh, he lives in. Barry, Ontario, which is about an hour-ish away from me. Not too far, north of me. North east of me. So, it says Bill's T Max on YouTube TV. Uh, Dear Bill, I'm Charlie. I live in Barry, Ontario, and I am 11 years old. Oh, I just go on one year younger than Dylan. Uh, when I get home from school, I go to my computer or on my phone to see if you've posted a video on YouTube. Uh, on summer break, I love... Uh, on summer break, I love mowing the lawn at my grandfather's house. He has a pull-on tractor. We are going to buy a John Deere tractor. Ooh, sweet. Going from orangey-ish yellow to yellow-green. <laughs> I think pull-on's orangey-ish yellow, or are they black? Maybe they're black. Maybe I'm thinking of Cub Cadet. Anyways. Uh, John Deere tractor. Uh, I like snow-blowing my grandfather's driveway. This is on a snow day. Uh, in this letter, I've included two John Deere tractor drawings. Uh, I love your tractors. When I'm older, I want to work at a cemetery. Oh, <laughs> stay in school, bud. <laughs> stay in school, honestly. Uh, you teach me how to uh, oil change a tractor. Uh, I love your videos on YouTube. I also thank you for entertaining us. Uh, thanks for reading this. You can read this on camera. That's from Charlie Stagg. Sweet, thanks, Charlie. That's awesome. Oh, look at the pictures. I'm going to have to hang these ones up somewhere downstairs. Those are pretty awesome. He's got amazing amount of details in there. He's even got the little box there for the, you know, the uh, the display and the, the uh, gauges and stuff. And he's got the thumb on the backhoe and all the cylinders and stuff. That's freaking awesome. Right down to the bucket. Holy. Mmm. -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. And he's done the 2032. That's pretty sweet. I like those. Those are really good. I shall, I'm making, I'm guessing you would call it a little shrine. I guess we'll call it downstairs. Um, it's basically in behind where my computer is. So, you know, when I'm shooting this way, you'll see like the shrine in behind of the stuff. Um, uh, what have we got up there now? Uh, Canadian flag hung up and our, our uh, Ontario provincial flag is hung up there. And um, I got to do a little bit more. I'm just not super happy with the way I've got it laid out yet. I think I want to take everything on that back wall. There's a couple of shelving units there. And uh, I want to take them and take them right uh, right out, put them somewhere else down there, and then do it right on the, the, the bare block wall. Uh, so I got a little bit of work to do yet, but uh, that's as well as where we're going to hang up the, um, the neon sign that we got there a week or so ago. Holy cow, I still floored over that. That's like really awesome. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking of making like a little wee shiny thing down there kind of thing, if you know what I mean, and hanging stuff like that and the pictures and stuff. If you guys send me pictures and stuff, if you've hand drawn them, I'll hang them up and stuff there and make like a collagey wally kind of thing with, you know, the flag and the backdrop kind of thing too. So, and of course, the neon sign probably hanging in the middle and stuff. It looked pretty sweet. Got a bit of work to do on it though. I've been just so busy with this trailer stuff, I just haven't had time to you know, get going on what I wanted to do down there, but I want to get at her soon because I'll be out cutting grass and I won't have any time then, you know, but I got a little bit of time yet, but, um, start of May, you know, we're almost to February now, March, April, not much time really for, for, for doing it. When you, when you break her down, it's like, well, it's only a couple of months there really. So, uh, but we'll get on to her eventually here and then we'll get like the shrine built there. I want to put like, you know, hang up somewhere there to the um, the uh, GMC little memorial thing we made for our last truck and um, the uh, subscriber reward thing I got the hundred thousand subscribers I want to hang that up somewhere there too I don't exactly know how it's gonna work with a flag hanging there but um, some of the stuff I'm gonna have to like screw down or something or just hang it from the rafters or something I don't know just let it free hang or whatever might have to do that, get crafty with some wires and some hooks and something from the uh, the joists above me, you know. Might have to do something like that. I don't know. I haven't really put a whole pile of thought into it yet and how I'm going to do it, but we shall see. But uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess, for trailer build construction stuff. I just have to, like, put the sides back on and then uh, we'll just give her a test. But that's not going to be, oh boy, that's going to take a while to dry that paint stuff up. Hopefully it sticks on there good. It should. I painted her on real good first and then sprinkled the sand on and then mushed it all together. It should bind hopefully into that too well, uh, very well. It should bind into that very well, I'm hoping. So uh, yeah, but uh, anyways, uh, boy, we're not gonna be able to do that probably till, boy, I'm gonna have to do a, a schmear rub test, see if I can rub any off like next week. What are we at now? We're at Wednesday, I think. forgot Wednesday so we'll have it'll have tonight so we'll say Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday's five days it's got to be dry by then so I'll check it again on Monday and see if I can give it a pushy test and if it's if it's solid and we'll load the thing up and give her a shot see how she works so but uh, anyways uh, I'm going to head her out. Got to get into some fresher air. Holy cow. <laughs> Paint fumey. <laughs> and uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. And uh, we'll catch you. Oh boy, I don't know. It might be still pa too painty down there. Fumey tomorrow for doing anything down there. So I don't know. We might not do something else somewhere else. But uh, what exactly? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. I should probably try to get into the container again and give those things a little run again for 20 minutes or so. After getting the recall notices on the uh, slingshot, though, I really don't want to uh, run on that too much. But I have touched base. Actually, the sales lady that sold the thing to us, she called me up there week last week. And uh, she's like, oh, I'm just calling to touch base with you. I'm like, oh, hi, how are you doing? We're all pretty good and stuff. I was wondering if you got the email for the 20% off the uh, 
clothing sale and for the slingshot stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I got that. I also mentioned, I also got a letter from Polaris. Oh, did you? I'm like, yeah, there's apparently quite a few recalls on this thing. She's like, oh yes, there is quite a few. And I'm like, well, I got three on my, my uh, thing. Oh, really, you did? I'm like, yeah, I got uh, brakes, uh, fuel line, and swing arm. She's like, oh, wow, okay. I know they've been getting quite a few things and the parts are starting to come in now. I'm like, well, I won't be able to get her down until spring. You know, I don't want to take it out and drive it in this crap, so. Um, I could throw it on a trailer and take it down, but still, even the spray of the crap, I really don't want to get all the salty spray and crap on her, right? So we'll have to wait until she's really good. She's like, okay, just give blah, blah, blah a call whenever you want to set it up and um, we'll, uh, she didn't offer to pick it up, but I didn't actually talk to the the uh, service manager, but um, I'm going to have to probably take it down regardless. So I'll have to probably try to throw it on my big trailer and drive her down that way. That's the only way I can uh, see fit. So that'd be interesting trying to get that on and strapping that on. I, don't, I guess it'll fit. I don't know. I have to measure things up. I might have to drive it down. So um, it's going to kind of suck though because I kind of highly doubt they'll be able to do everything in one day for me. Uh, so I'm going to have to like drive it down, leave it there, drive home, go down another week, pick it up, and then drive back again. That's gonna friggin' suck, because it's like two hours and a bit away one way for me. So right away, one trip down and back is like five hours almost kind of thing, you know? So it's like, holy friggin' crap, that really sucks. So anyways, we'll look at that after that in the spring, see, what, see what's gonna happen. It would be much easier if they would come and get it, take it down, fix it, and then bring it back. Or vice versa, I could even go pick it up. Maybe we can split something. I don't know. I have to call them and see. So, uh, but uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. Sorry for the extra little babble there. <laughs> I kind of didn't expect to get into that. But uh, one thing less leads to another, right? So, uh, but anyways, thanks again. And we'll catch you yeah, maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day. I don't know. We'll see. Well, nothing really else planned. So everything's all built with that thing. And uh, I don't know what we're doing now. So, um, sure, we'll find something though. But uh, have a good day. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you later.